Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you some helpful resources so you can start learning UX on your own. Before I jump in, just a quick reminder, I share everything about UX from portfolio reviews, design creates on my YouTube channel. So if you are interested on this type of content, please feel free to hit the subscribe so you won't miss any of my future content. And on this topic, I think um, there are so many things to learn, especially when you first started, it can feel quite overwhelming. Some common questions you might be thinking, like what is UX? What skills are required? And what's the process look like? So in terms of user experience or interaction design, it is actually a very broad field. There are many overlaps with different subjects from behavior science, visual design, coding, data science, and more. Today, I want to just focus on the essentials so we can get started without feeling too overwhelmed. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at some helpful website where you can start learning the basics of UX. The first one I wanted to share is Material Design. It is an adaptable system of guidelines, components, and tools that support the best practices of user interface design. So we are looking at the landing page of Material Design. The left side is the navigation, and it started from introduction, material studies, and within material foundations, it is broken down into separate categories from foundation overview, environment, layout, navigation, color, typography, and more. For example, let's take a look at navigation. What does navigation mean? It enables users to move around through an app. And in this section, the content is broken down to types of navigation, lateral navigation, forward navigation, and reverse navigation. The most helpful part I find from material design, it actually gives real example. For example, here, what we're looking at is navigation drawers are appropriate for five or more top level destination and can be used across device sizes for consistent navigation experience. So it gives some really tangible examples of do's and don'ts when you design the mobile or web experience. The second resource I want to share with you is this website called Laws of UX. Um, this is a website created by John Yablonski. And instead of um, forcing users to adapt to designs of a product or experience, you know, we can use some key principles from psychology as a guidance for designing in a way that is adapted to people. So this website serves as an interactive resource, really makes complex psychology heuristics accessible to more designers. Let's take a quick look. We're on the home page. You can look at all or narrow down by each area from heuristic, principle, gestalt, or cognitive bias. Let's just take a look at the first one, aesthetic usability effect. If I type into this card, it's gonna expand into the subject to uh, talking about aesthetic usability effect. From an overview, what does it mean? Some key takeaways, and it also talk about the origins. One part that I really like about this website is the actual interaction, the design of this website. I think it's actually a really good example of how something super complex can be designed in a way that is easy to use and practical for designers to benefit in their everyday job. So the other website I want to share with you is the Nielsen Norman Group website. Nielsen Norman Group is basically a leading UX research and consulting firm. It was founded in 1998 by Jacob Nielsen and Don Norman. It has some really helpful resources talking about research-based user experience. The most helpful place I found one is the articles area. It actually has the categories to covering many different topics that are essential in UX, from agile, design process, to e-commerce, user testing, web usability. For example, what does user testing mean and how it is typically conducted and even look into some of the actual real examples. And one other place I found super helpful on this website is the reports and books. You can find research reports containing different guidelines, best practices, on different subjects from accessibility, 
to B2B websites. This is a place you can navigate around and find many resources from detailed reports to helpful books that covering critical subjects within UX. Another website I wanted to share with you is Medium. So as you know, Medium is a place that has many different um, information and articles on there, but you can totally use it and customize to use it for your advantage. For example, what we're looking at is the dashboard once I sign in to Medium, and you can use the search bar here. For example, I would type in UX, and it started popping up like people, publications, and tags already. And for example, I would tap on the UX design tag. This is a place where you can tap follow. You will uh, see some of the most recent and popular articles uh, posted around the topic. It also will show you related topics that you can discover more on UI design, user research, product design, or design thinking. And you can also learn more about top writers who post articles uh, around the subject of UX design. I find this is actually a pretty helpful place for me to stay up to date and learn from the industry experts in the field of UX. So one other website I want to share with you is actually my website. This is a place where I started collecting helpful resources that I generated or I find really helpful from how to prepare your resume portfolio, how to learn about design exercises, interview preps, and more. First of all, I have this jump starter area, which has some helpful tools and tips on how to start preparing for your resume and it has UX resume writing tips, which is 100% free. In addition, I have also created those resume kits. One is the resume kits that can help you land your first UX job, and the other kit is focused on how to advance in your career and landing jobs at top tech companies. In the next area, these are my UX videos. It has uh, many different topics. You will see that on my channel as well if you are already a subscriber of my YouTube. I I have videos focused about portfolio review, how to prepare yourself for interviews, and also design exercise like whiteboard challenge and app critics. So please feel free to take a look and subscribe to my channel if you find those videos are helpful. The last section, which is the bookshelf. I love reading, I love books, and I started putting some books that I uh, love the most. It has changed the way how I think and how I behave, how I live my life. So feel free to take a look. Okay, so after looking at those helpful websites, I also wanted to, to talk about online courses. So I've been getting a lot of questions asking about, hey, do you have any recommendations on what online courses or boot camps that are really good to get into UX? First of all, quick disclaimer, this is not an evaluation of which boot camps or online courses are good or bad. I just wanted to share with you some popular options that I have heard from people around. So the first one I want you to share is the Google UX Design Certificate. This is something available on Coursera. You can learn the foundations about UX design, including emphasizing with users, building wireframes, prototypes, and conducting research testing. At the same time, I believe through this program, you will also have the opportunities to uh, work on hands-on projects and also connect and learn from other designers. So the program itself, it takes roughly about six months to complete with five to 10 hours of a study per week. And the cost as of today is uh, $39 per month. So this is a place you can learn more about the certificate program in terms of what you will be learning, what are the full curriculum, and more. Another online course that seems are highly rated is this Introduction to User Experience Principles and Process by University of Michigan. This is a course focused more on the basics about principles and process. And on this website, you will find more details on the curriculum, what are things that you will be learning in this course. So one note, I believe when you enroll, you can actually get access to all the courses and the specifications, and you can actually earn a certificate when you complete the work um, with some extra cost. But if you don't need a certificate, you can actually view the content and audit the course for free. So another option is to get into a UX bootcamp, and there are many options available out there. For example, General Assembly, Springboard, 
Career Foundry, UC Berkeley Extension, you know, uh, just to name a few. The cost can range from somewhere around 7000 to 15000 online. So it is definitely a bigger investment and also time commitment. So in this video, um, I don't want to get into the comparison or which bootcamp is better or worse. What I wanted to share is if you are trying to compare and make a decision on um, which bootcamp to go with, several things to consider. Number one, uh, look at the third party reviews. Also talk to people who has actually done it to understand, okay, what do they like about it or they didn't like about it. Third, try to find some graduate outcomes report. Like for example, what are the percentage of the graduate actually get a job in a certain time frame? Uh, some questions to ask. So besides of the online courses, is there any projects that you will be able to get to work on can directly put into your portfolio once you finish the bootcamp and start job searching? Do they offer any job searching support? Okay, so we talked about some helpful website and online courses where you can start learning UX on your own. And in the next episode, I will be sharing more to focus on practice your skills. What are some common tools that you can start building screens, prototypes, and also some helpful resources where you can learn about design exercises. So please stay tuned and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.